Hi, Katie Pilkington for CNET, and today we're going to be talking about the Crock-Pot Cook and Carry Programmable Slow Cooker. Well, I know that Crock-Pot has become kind of a ubiquitous term for slow cookers, this is the brand that started it all. You may or may not be surprised to see a $59 price tag on this particular appliance, especially if you've been shopping around your local discount warehouse store, where you can pick up a slow cooker for as low as $20. $59, while certainly not steep or at the top of the price scale, is definitely not what we would call a bargain basement slow cooker. But the cook and carry is imbued with a lot of features that in my opinion make it worth your money, particularly the fact that it's designed to be portable. It's all well and good to have a slow cooker that sits on your counter and makes your dinner while you're at work, but this one is particularly useful in that you can cook your dinner while you're at work, but take it to your potluck afterwards. This works particularly well because of these locks that you see on the lid, and there's a rubber seal underneath the lid itself that when these two work together, they create a seal that will prevent the contents of your slow cooker from splashing out all over the trunk of your car. Another thing that's worth noting in terms of portability and the importance of temperature is this dial down here, which tells you the relative temperature of the contents of your slow cooker. Department of Public Health regulates that all food that's being held at warm should be 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And that dial, while it doesn't give you an exact temperature range in terms of degrees, definitely gives you an idea of whether or not you need to plug it in immediately or if you can let it sit for a while. Other nice additions that make it extremely portable are prongs on the back of the slow cooker that make it so that you can wrap the cord for easy storage and easy transport. So while it's certainly not the cheapest slow cooker on the market right now, it's definitely a good value, particularly when you add in all of those features that Crock-Pot has added to the mix. For CNET, I'm Katie Pilkington.